uh, in greedy method we have completed minimum cost spanning tree knapsack problem now we are going to discuss tree vertex splitting ok now consider a directed binary tree edge of which is labeled with a real numbers ok uh, with uh, trees with edge weights are called weighted trees ok so uh, one tree is there where the weights are there 4 2 3 1 weights are there a weighted tree can be used for example to model a distribution network so we can use this particular network for distribution network in which electric signals or commodities such as oil are transmitted nodes in the tree correspond to receiving stations we can say these are nothing but the receiving stations and edges correspond corresponds to transmission lines these are nothing but the transmission lines it is conceivable that in the process of transmission some loss occurs so transmit oil from this place to this place or signal from this place to that place this place to that place so some losses are there now drop in voltage in the case of electric signal or drop in pressure in the case of oil so losses means uh, drop in voltage or drop in uh, pressure if it is oil we are passing oil so it may be the uh, due to uh, loss uh, it may be the loss of the pressure if it is a voltage then it may be the drop of voltage and so on each edge in the tree is labeled with the loss that occurs in Transversing, traversing that edge. The network may not <coughs> may not be able to tolerate losses beyond a certain level. There should be a level. Say assume sigma. Say sigma. Uh, uh, there is a, uh, a certain level, uh, tolerance level. In places where the loss exceeds the tolerance level, boosters have to be placed. Suppose we are passing oil from this place to that place ok now here there should be a minimum voltage or minimum pressure oil pressure if it is less than 5 or uh, uh, if the loss is more than 5 then we need one uh, repeater we need one pump to increase the pressure to increase the voltage and so on so we need repeaters so uh, to increase the pressure to, to increase the flow given a network and a loss tolerance level the tree vertex splitting is to determine an optimal placement of boosters so what is the application of tree vertex splitting so using tree suppose it's a transmission system or we are transmitting oil or electricals from this one place to another place now through tree vertex splitting now to maintain the flow we should maintain the we, uh, we should maintain the voltage we should maintain the pressure but uh, losses are there so due to losses uh, voltage may drop or uh, will, uh, pressure may drop so to maintain the process uh, uh, pressure to maintain the voltage we may place boosters it may be generator it may be a repeater okay so we need boosters so uh, using tree vertex splitting we can identify where we should places the where we should place the booster in which node so that we can maintain the flow it is assumed that the boosters can only be placed in the nodes of the tree okay next now the t the tree vertex splitting can be specified more precisely as follows now t v e w t v e w be a weighted directed tree so this is weighted directed tree okay the directions are there where b is the vertices these are the vertices and e is the edges these are the edges and w is the weight so 1 2 3 2 3 2 6 3 and so on in particular w i j is the weight of the edge in between w i j the w 1 3 is weight in between 2 okay next a source vertex is a vertex with its degree 0. So if it is a source vertex, there should degree should be 0. Okay. And, uh, uh, and a sink vertex in a vertex with out degree 0. Okay. So in degree 0, in degree means what? Suppose how many 
uh, uh, edges entering into the tree that is called in degree this is called in degree how many edges coming out from the tree that is called out degree okay so if it is a source if it is a source in degree should be zero okay and if it is a sink out degree should be if it is a source in degree should be zero if it is a uh, uh, sink the last leaf then out degree should be zero that means no for any path p in the tree its delay is defined to be the sum of the weight on the on that path the delay of the tree dt is the maximum of all the path delay okay uh, next see how it is working okay so these are the brief introduction so our aim is to to know where we should place the repeater in this particular tree so these are the transmission laws 1 2 3 it is 2 1 2 4 4 3 2 6 now tolerance level is 5 okay if it is more than 5 then we have to we need to place the repeater now this is the tree vertex splitting algorithm algorithm tvs t delta so delta is the tolerance level t is the root of the tree so if it is a t so t is nothing but this one okay sorry t is the repeater now if now uh, we are calling same function here recursion clear and starting and end you may note down the algorithm now here uh, you can see uh, once again uh, if you see this particular algorithm how it is working now if it if these are the leaf nodes we don't need any repeater clear now see these two one and four maximum is four connect add four plus two add four plus two that value is more than delta so that means we need one repeater in fourth node clear now we have to check whether we need one repeater here or not we have to add four plus two it is six it is more than five we need another repeater here okay that means we are working this particular algorithm now if you compare two and three out of two and three maximum is what three now add three with three to check whether we need uh, a, a, a repeater here or not so three plus three is six which is more than five that means we need another repeater here now to check whether we need repeater here or not we have to check which one is the maximum one or three three is the maximum add to it two three plus two five which is not more than five so that means we don't require repeater in here and one is a root node so that's why we don't need repeater here because it is source node starting node okay so that is the working principle of the tree parting splitting okay 